up everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time i upload a new video if you're not new welcome back my name is alice and for today's recipe i decide to show you one of my favorite uh, bread that I learned how to make since I moved to Canada, which is banana bread. It's not an Italian thing. We don't have it in Italy. Like I never heard it before since I came to Canada or like United States, but it's very popular here. And let me tell you, it's amazing. This recipe, it's super easy. It's super dumb proof you're only gonna need one bowl and like a couple of ingredients but you just gotta mix all together you don't need like a, a kitchen aid or a hand mixer you just need a whisk a fork and a spatula that's it so like let's get to the ingredients so what you're gonna need again I'm gonna put all the measurement in the description down below. So you're gonna need bananas for sure. Make sure your banana are like this color. I know they look ugly, but the riper they are, the better it is because they get super, super sweet and they're gonna keep like also the cake very moist. I know for like a lot of people, the moist for it's a little triggering, but it's okay for this time. Then you're gonna need like flour baking powder you can use like traditional baking powder or you can use one of those packages this is italian baking powder basically it's flavored with vanilla then you're gonna need sugar uh cinnamon i have um i didn't have walnuts i know typical people use walnuts for this recipe i have like some almonds so i chopped some almonds but you can use any type of nuts that you like or you can avoid to put the nuts and you can substitute it with chocolate chips or live it plain. Then we're gonna have eggs, melted butter, and that's it. That's all you need. So first thing first, what we're gonna do, we're gonna like mash our banana, smashed our banana in a bowl. You see how like super like soft they are? That's what you need. You're just gonna need to mash it with a fork, super easy. It doesn't have to be like extra smooth. I'm gonna toss this right there. So you're gonna mash your banana. I mashed my banana, smash, my smash, mash, <laughs> mash my banana here in this bowl. And one thing that I forgot to mention in the introduction, you have to preheat your oven first thing first because this is super easy and super fast to make the batter. So you're gonna preheat the oven at 350 and this cake is gonna cook for about 60 minutes. So it's a little bit of like time consuming like for cooking the cake. So then you're gonna need your two eggs. Make sure when you're baking, except for um, different type of doughs, but mostly 90% of dessert require room temperature eggs because they whip better, especially if you have to whip it with sugar or stuff like that, it's easier. And also it's easy to work with ingredients that have all the same temperature. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of paper towel. So you're gonna add your eggs, then you're gonna add your butter. And then you're gonna add your vanilla powder. Or like you can substitute it with a, a teaspoon or of, of vanilla extract. Then you're gonna add your sugar. Then you're gonna sprinkle like a teaspoon of cinnamon or if you like it more cinnamony, you can put a little bit more. I'm, like I said in the, my previous recipe, I'm not crazy about cinnamon, so I'm just gonna put a teaspoon. And then you're gonna whisk everything together. So once you have all your wet ingredients mixed together, you're gonna add your baking powder to the flour. Like so. And you're also gonna add the nuts to the flour and kind of mix it together. This is gonna prevent from the nuts like to uh, go straight to the bottom of the batter. It's a little trick, always like chocolate chips, nuts, always put it in the flour because it's easier 
for the nuts to stay all around the cake instead of going right to the bottom because they're of course they're heavier and you're gonna add your flour all at once and you're gonna whisk again at first you're gonna use your whisk and then you can switch to the spatula And with this type of batter, you don't have to be like gentle, like when you're like do other type of cake, you just go for it, like just mix it all together. Just make sure there's no flour clumps. And that's it. Super easy, super fast. And it smells amazing. So this is what you should look like your batter. This consistency, I also line, um, what is that, a loaf pan? Yeah, a loaf pan with parchment paper so the bottom is not gonna stick. And we're just gonna pour it in. Like I said, this is gonna bake at 350 for about 60 minutes. Because I, there's a, the taller the container is, the longer it's gonna take to bake because it's gonna have to go right to the center. So make sure you scrape your bowl very well. And you just level the batter in your pan. And that is it. So you're gonna put it in the oven at 350 for 60 minutes. If you notice that the surface starting to get a little bit too dark, you can put a little bit of aluminum foil on the top, especially halfway in. But try not to open the oven for the first 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna pop this bad boy in the oven and we're gonna be back for the taste test. All right, you guys, my banana bread, it's finally done. It looks so beautiful, look out fantastic it looks it smells delicious and i cannot wait to taste test it so i cook it at 350 for literally 60 minutes and then before i took it out of the oven i insert um a toothpick a wooden toothpick just to make sure that it was was completely cooked it wasn't still raw like i poked the center a little bit on the sides so make sure but make sure you go into the center and now the big revealing i'm gonna cut a slice this one out i know it's a little awkward to cut it like this but i want you to guys see first oh my god look how beautiful it's the inside it smells so good so i am not the first i always like the middle part it's still a little warm but it smells amazing See, as you can see, all the nuts, they kind of distribute all over the cake and not they, they didn't go just at the bottom. And that's the little trick that you gotta do. I can't, I can't resist it. I keep going, <laughs> I wanna try. <laughs> mm. Oh my God. It's so soft and delicious. Mmm. So good. You just get like a hint of cinnamon in the back of your mouth. You can taste the almonds. Actually, I have to say, putting almonds, it's a really good different texture that you have in the loaf. So I would not skip that part because you have like on the soft of the cake and then you get those little bits of crunchy. And it makes it really interesting. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. So good. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. Please make sure that you make this cake. It's super easy. Perfect for breakfast. Perfect like a tea at five o'clock tea in the afternoon. Super easy. Super fast. It only takes an hour to bake, but like 10 minutes to put all the ingredients together. So make sure you make this. And until next time, I'll see you soon, my beautiful people. Love you.